Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about my upcoming novel Pay Before Us and we're going to be doing this through the work in progress tag which I did originally a few years ago for the same book so we're going to see how my answers have changed over time but back then I couldn't find who started this tag and I still can't find it now because no one links their sources. So if I can somehow find it, I'll put a link to that in the description but I'll leave a full list of questions nevertheless and we're gonna go and jump straight in. Let's begin. Question one is what is the working title of your book? The working title has always been Paper Forests and it's still Paper Forests. As soon as I name something I get very emotionally attached to it. Like Beauty and the Breakdown was called Beauty and the Breakdown before I even started putting words on the page because I was so in love with the song that inspired this. So Beauty and the Breakdown has always been Beauty and the Breakdown, Paper Forests has always been Paper Forests. And I can imagine that as long as I am self-publishing and have full control of my titles, I'm probably going to choose the first one that comes to mind for every project. I will say that Paper Forest has no relation at all to Paper Towns by John Green. I feel like I should say that. I don't think anyone's thinking that, but I feel the need to say it. Question two is where did the idea for your book come from? It originally came from, I think, two places. The prologue and the epilogue were inspired by my comparison to the interview, or maybe it was just Gerard Way. Did an interview many years ago now about what the concept for their fifth album was going to be. It's going to be called The Paper Kingdom and it's going to be about a group of adults in therapy because their children have died and moved on to a foresty afterlife. So the prologue and the epilogue are very inspired by this adults and parents in therapy thing and the idea that their children have died or passed on or are dying. And that gave me the foresty afterlife idea. But what actually developed the foresty afterlife was, let's see, is it? it's here. This album, Ever After by Marrow's Trench. At one point this book, I think it may have been tentatively called Ever After for like a week, but this book was originally a fan fiction for this album. And this is the fantasy, the forest concept. A lot of the ideas in the book are very inspired by this. So the inspiration for Paper Forest came from this album and My Chemical Romance. Also, a lot of um, Hansel and Gretel, very loose retelling is in there. Question three is what genre is your work in progress? It is largely a fantasy. It is young adult, it is contemporary, it's a very modern fantasy. Because I want it to be these modern day characters who were in this real world because their parents have now gone to therapy and they've died. And they've died and moved on to this foresty fantasy place. But what I wanted to do throughout this book was keep them as modern and as contemporary and so detached from fantasy as possible. So I know there are a lot of books where a character ends up in the fantasy world and they adapt very quickly to fit in. I did not want that at all. <laughs> so genre, YA fantasy, is a contemporary, hint of romance, hint of LGBT. So next question is the one sentence synopsis of the book and this is something that I know me and many other authors struggle with because how do I summarise so many years of my life into one sentence? But I think the one for Paper Forest that simplifies and like, I don't know the word but like squishes down the story as much as possible would be in a place between life and death a group of teenagers are trying to find their way back home which is a very dumbed down and simplified version of what is going on here. Next question is, will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? It's going to be self-published because I'm a control freak and I love being able to control the insides, the cover, the title, every single part about it, which is what I love about self-publishing. I, I was looking at this and there's a pile of, I've got a whole stack of ones going on here. But what I love about self-publishing and what I know a lot of people don't like about self-publishing is that I get to do everything myself. Also, I don't think that I'm quite ready for publishing or a publishing contract at this point in my life. Like, I've got a lot going on. <laughs> I don't, there's so many things I want to do in my life that I don't think I would ever make writing as my full time career. As much as I would love to make money off this. <laughs> but I'm going in the self publishing route, and unless this book somehow becomes like viral on TikTok and gets picked up like The Atlas Six did. It's going to remain self-published. Also, I'm so in awe of the Atlas Six and how it got picked up. And so many books in general that go popular online and then get picked up because good for you. You are living the dream. The next question is how long does it take you to write the first draft of your manuscript? I'd say, because I've done five drafts in five years, I'd say it's roughly one a year. 
maybe one and a half years for the first draft because that was the slowest one but i haven't consistently worked on it for the past five years like for beauty and the breakdown i worked on it in like month chunks like month chunk month months of ch chunks of months and i forgot about it for a while and i worked on it again which is kind of the same for paper forests i did the first draft on and off for a year and a half i disappeared for six months i came back and did another draft in one or two months i disappeared for a few months so on but first draft one and a half years the entire finished book five years i wish i could write faster so much which is part of the reason why i could, should never have a writing contract the next question is what other books would you compare the story to i have an answer to this because i was looking at comparison titles the other day i think i should quickly grab them i would say these ones i'm going to talk about them so just holding them up among the beaten briars for this dark fairy tale retelling set in the forest were monsters bone houses again because monsters forest also this one has a lot of um mythology references that i've tried to have myself House of Hollow, modern day, mostly modern day, in a fantasy world, a lot of horror influences, small cast of characters, monsters, so much emotion, dark emotion, slightly gay, mental illness. This book is so good and I'm so in love with it, I can't believe I just dumbed it down to gay mental illness. You should read this, this book deserves so much love. What I'd say about all four of these ones is that it is a very small cast of characters. How, uh, I don't think any of these are first person narration, but Paper Forest is. Finally, I'd say The Raven Boys because sentient forest, friendship, again, slightly gay, very whimsy, a mixture of modern day setting, contemporary with this fantasy vibes. And what's going to be the final question for me is who or what inspired you to write the book? I've dedicated this book to my past self because I was a child who was in love with fairy tales and forests and horror stories as much as a child could be. So this book is very much a tribute to me back when I first started writing for the first time and first started making stories and fairy tales. Mostly inspired by my little self because this is everything I could ever want in the book. Mostly inspired because current day me still wants all of these things in the book. But the other inspiration, obviously, Michael Kramer's album, Marriage Trench album, these books that I just showed you, <laughs> even though... I would say all those books, but two of them I didn't read until most of the book was done, so no. But the inspiration is myself and music, as always. And I think that's all I want to say today. I'm going to have, I think, one more video coming out for the release video. I don't actually know. I haven't looked at my timetable yet, but the books are coming out very, very soon. I hope you're interested in looking at it, even just opening up that Amazon link. And I hope that little me is so proud. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.